Hey everybody, we are here at the Anaheim Convention Center. I hope you brought your juice boxes because this is a feedback field trip. I am Casey Schreiner. Joining with me are uh, Leah, Kevin, and Chris, who have all spent several hours in BlizzCon today. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, what's what's the highlight for you? <laughs> highlight for me has been Diablo 3 news. Finally, we've been waiting for a long time for this. we got the new class, the Demon Hunter. They have a new trait system that's going to allow a lot of customization. And we learned a little bit more about runes and skills. And uh, even though there's no release date, which I really wanted, we're finally hearing Diablo 3 news. And that's... It's kind of exciting. Plus, we can play it. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. And what, did you get a chance to play it? Not yet. We've been busy doing so much interviewing and paneling and, uh, and photo taking, and not yet. So, that's the first thing I'm doing after uh, we're done. Well, I can tell you that the mage still sucks. Great. Still? Uh, yes. Uh, Leah, what about you? You obviously are really excited about uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm. I am. So, what's, what's the big news for you today? Um, well, the big news today was that they are, they are making the old raids into bite-sized chunks. So that they so they're changing all of the raids, the older raids, and they're breaking them up into smaller ones. So raids that used to be really really long, they're making a lot shorter, and they're making them into two instances that are kind of similar instead of making them one really long instance, which is awesome for the old players and the people that are leveling up the new classes. So it's a little bit of help for World of Warcraft yes. players who have jobs and lives. Yes, perhaps. exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what they said in the panel. Like if people have jobs, you know, this is good for them. And like people that have other things to be doing. And won't spend so long playing WoW. And then they also introduced um, a lot of the new raid, two new raids. So the, um, the Abyssal Mall and one other one. <laughs> <laughs> another awesome raid. Yeah, another awesome raid. Yeah. Uh, so It's all awesome, Talia. She loves the World of That's Warcraft. So. Abyssal Mall is actually five man dungeon. <laughs> I, I technically, spoke to yeah. technically, Casey. Um, but yeah, no, it, looks, it all looks really good. They showed video and it's and uh, Chris, what about you? Yeah, for me, I mean, it's funny what you said earlier. I, I'm a nerd. I'm not a BlizzCon nerd. This is my first time at BlizzCon. If there was a sort of a geeky trend or bandwagon that I missed early on in my life, it was <laughs> these games. It was, wow, it was Diablo, StarCraft. I, I never played one uh, prior to very recently. Well, I can so, say that the snacks are much better this year than they were in <laughs> yeah. uh, So for me, this year, it's all about the culture. It's about, like, really soaking up a sense of sort of community and personality, which is really important. Um, you know, we've been to a lot of events like this, E3, Comic-Con, all that. So it's always great for me as a geek to sort of, like, just see a bunch of people who all have one thing in common that they love more than anything else and that they can just, you know, just be bonding the whole day. So it's be been ourselves. very cool. Yes. <laughs> but I, but I, I thought you didn't give a about BlizzCon. No, I care. I care about the sense of community, but having not played the games, it's not like I don't give, you know, a All right. So you'll yeah. get swept up by a charismatic speaker... Uh, you'll, yes. be all, you'll be all decked out in, right. uh, in armor. You'll yeah, be ready I'll, to go. I'll be dressed I'll like a death knight next time you see me. <laughs> Maybe with, tomorrow. With all three games in my hand, and then uh, you'll never see me on anything else again. So That'd be good. Uh, oh, that'd how, be good. Thanks. So how is it? You guys have been to BlizzCon before, right? I've never been. This is my first year. Okay, so, so. Your, but you've been here before, I think right? this is my fifth BlizzCon, which is almost scary to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, is, this is pretty much the biggest that I've seen it. Uh, it's definitely grown. And that yeah. main stage, if that's an indication, is... is Easily five times bigger than normal. It's, yeah, and they have a catwalk. Chris Metzen came out on this catwalk. I thought he was going to model something for us at, at first, but uh, they, yeah, it's much Maybe bigger. And they've like they've learned to fill the hall, I guess. And I've been here. Say. I've been here before for other events. Uh, the D23 convention they had last year was here, and uh, I, it surprises me that this is absolutely the biggest event I've ever seen here, in terms of attendance, in terms of how much they've decked out the interior of this place. It's really impressive. It's really cool to see. Uh, has anyone got on the gyroscope yet? No. no, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to vomit for. on a crowd of nerds. I don't so. know what that has to do with anything that Blizzard does. <laughs> <laughs> what does it have to do? Yeah. It is oh, literally, it's, okay. TV, it's just to make darks vomit. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. the only purpose yeah. it can serve. If they don't get you with the pizza and soda, <laughs> yeah. the gyroscope will hook right. you up at the bottom. Yeah, it's the yeah. kicker. And it's right next to a giant burrito stand, so <laughs> that's even more troubling to me. Always perfect, always perfect. Have you seen any good good costumes? I just saw someone walking around with a tree ant. Really? Uh, that was awesome. They had their whole head was uh, lit up and leaves were falling behind them. The best one I saw was the StarCraft ghost just now. She had eyes and she looked, it was awesome. It was and really it's the cool. only thing that we'll see of StarCraft ghost here. That's <laughs> exactly. true. That's true. You're I saw right. two, two gentlemen uh, probably in their mid to late 20s smoking pipes over here. You know, as you do, just like, I, I, I expected them to be, yeah, yeah, professors or something. But no, they, I guess this is the cool thing, you know, they've seen Lord of the Rings a few, too many times. And for me, it's actually the it's actually the sort of epic fail costumes that I think are most <laughs> most amusing. It's the like just people who should absolutely not be wearing what they're wearing, walking around in way too little for... Yeah. Well, we just saw like a 60-year-old woman dressed up at like a... Oh, like a, a pirate, pirate or yeah, something? It was, there was some... Cottage cheese pirate <laughs> stuff. It was. I 
think a Waldo just walked by, actually. Really? Uh, Where is he? Find it. There he is. Yep, you're oh, right. Yeah, there he is. Way over in the trees Kevin's over there. Um, I'm just saying, I saw a wedding proposal on the Lich King's throne this afternoon. So that's probably the highlight of my 2010. Was it a forced yes? Did they have to say yes because it was a crowd? I think they or... had to say yes. There was a crowd. They were all chanting no, though. Uh, oh, that's uh, supportive. That's great. So oh. maybe it was just in spite oh. of the no. But it, but it, but it seemed it seemed like a genuine yes. It was the item they proposed with the actual sword of Frostmourne. Yeah, they, were holding, they were holding the Frostmourne, and they had the helmet with them. So. Was the oh, helmet so the perfect. ring? No, no. It was, it was just the helmet. Just the helmet and the, uh, and the sword. So there's no ring? There was no ring, at least for now. It's a promise. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe when the game actually comes out. <laughs> promise out. sword that I'm giving you. Um, I, I noticed like the th- even the third party area seems a lot bigger this time around. Yeah. The space that they've kind of filled up with like games you can play and Sound Blaster's still around. Yes. <laughs> who right? knew? Who knew? I mean, l- l- where where have they been? And I remember scrounging for one of those when I was uh, like in 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 high school to make my computer sound better, and I thought they were long gone, but. No, they're here. I'm actually into the old retro station that they got back there. Yeah, there is. There's a big retro station. It's always very cool to take a look at that and kind of see where a lot of these games sort of started off. Yeah, you can still play the first Diablo over there. Lost Vikings. Lost Vikings, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the racing, weird racing game. Didn't they have a racing game? Like rock and roll racing. Yeah, I've never heard of it, but the cover looks great. (laughs) It's a guy rocking out with a guitar on a car. I'm on board with that game. (laughs) Speaking of rocking out, I'm excited for tomorrow night. Tenacious D is the closing concert. Yes, yes. Yes. Ozzy Osbourne last year, not super my style, but Tenacious D definitely much, much more intense. They'll probably pick up on the vibe a little bit more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be fun. And uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the other highlights. I, I I mean, I literally want to get back in there and play more games. That's what I'm. I'm super excited to to play the Starcraft 2 custom maps, the Star Jeweled and the Starcraft Dota. When they said that, I was just like, oh, that sounds so (laughs) cool. So I'm really excited to go play those later. So we know where you'll be for the rest of the day. Yes. I'm terrified absolutely. to get in there and play more games. <laughs> this will be the first time I've played some of them. So I'll be sitting next to, you know, pros and masters getting my ass kicked for the like, yeah, that they were talking about. <laughs> just apologizing profusely to the whole just, room. Just so. deny any PvP requests. <laughs> yeah. Just do the opening quest. You'll be fine. One of those uh, new StarCraft maps is the Iron Chef. And he, it's oh, a little yeah. Protoss unit with a chef's hat on. Oh my and they've God. redone the menu bar to look like a, a kitchen table. <laughs> and it's it's great that they can do stuff like this with their own games. Like, it's a little tongue-in-cheek, you know. I love like, it. I love that they can poke fun of themselves. That's how Blizzard is. They're just yeah. so tongue-in-cheek. They have so many puns in all their games. They have so many parodies of other things in all of their games. It's just, I love Blizzard so they've much. They've always done a really good job of having this incredible lore behind all their games, but also being willing to poke fun of yeah. it right. and break down that fourth wall by referencing other games outside of there. And yes. once you get the community in a place like this and you take a really good look at them, you have to have a sense of humor <laughs> yes. about your stuff. So. Yes. That's true. That's true. As, right. we, as, as we all sit, stand here in, in t-shirts yeah. and stuff, next to Mr. Three-Piece Suit himself, it's like, I feel so dressed we down. We just bought this suit. I had to take it outside. <laughs> I still walk. got the receipt in the back. Yeah, this, uh, it, yeah. it will be going back to Macy's. <laughs> I can't scratch it. All right, well, thank you guys very much. That was your uh, feedback. Yeah. Field trip. Really. So I hope you have your permission slip signed. <laughs>